Good day everyone and welcome to Oceanix. In this video, I will be walking you through the process of salting fishing bait. My name is Marwan, I am a co-founder of Oceanix. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and visit our website www.oceanix.com. Let's start by asking what is salting? Salting is simply to add salt to your fishing bait. So there are multiple reasons why we want to do that. And the first being that we can store the fishing bait without a freezer. Even though it's natural fishing bait, we can store it on the boat if we salt it. Salt is used to preserve fishing bait, in fact. So that's the first reason. Second, it seems that salting fishing bait tends to attract more fish bites. And third, such salted bait will stay on the hook for a longer time. So it's not gonna just fall off the hook or be nipped off very quickly. For more details about the whole salting process, including the list of ingredients, the steps, and how to buy more salted squid that is ready and salted, please feel free to visit our blog on our website, www.oceanix.com, and I'll add a link to the specific blog for you down below. Now let's go and get the ingredients and start working. Most of the ingredients we need can be found in any supermarket, so let's look for the items we need here. The first and most important ingredient, and that is salt. Without salt, we cannot salt the fishing bait. Salt is not really expensive, so as you can see, it's quite cheap. And we have two different types of salt. We have the iodized salt, like this one, and the non-iodized counterpart. We want to make sure that we are choosing a non-iodized salt. So for example, if I hold this one, the blue one, and look at the list of ingredients, we don't have iodine in the list of ingredients. But if we look at the other one, that's the red one, we'll notice that it has iodine. Let's see this one. As you can see, ingredients, salt and iodine. You don't want the iodized sea salt because it's not suitable for salting fishing bait. Always go with the non-iodized counterpart. Next, we will need to pick a box to use for the salting process. We can pick a plastic one like this food container, or we can pick a glass one, that's also fine, as long as it has a cover on top. And it has to be high enough to create multiple layers of fishing bait. For the fishing bait that we will be using, we have chosen squid, so we will be salting the squid. The squid has to be cut in a way where the skin is peeled off, and it is cut into slices and not rings. So let's start by doing that. Finally, you will need some gloves. Any gloves are fine, really, just something that will not get your hands dirty during the process. We also need highly absorbent kitchen tissue rolls. So I have one here and it says, as you can see, absorbs everything. We will need this to dry the squid. So first things first, I have the ingredients and items I'm going to need. I have the tissue, non-iodized salt, disposable gloves, a plastic box, fishing bait, and a tray to dry the squid. Let's move on to the next step. In this step, we will need to wash the fishing bait. We usually do not wash the fishing bait because we want to preserve the scent and smell, but for the purposes of salting, it's better to wash the fishing bait to remove the slimy substance on the fishing bait because that would normally interfere with the salting process. Just a little bit of washing should be fine. Now we want to dry the squid or any fishing bait that we are using. So we'll add some tissue papers to some tray or something, bring the fishing bait and place it on the tissue paper. Until the tray is full. After placing all fishing bait on the tray with the absorbent tissue, we use another absorbent tissue from the top just to try to absorb as much moisture as possible prior to starting the salting process. Just apply gentle pressure and absorb as much water as possible. Next, we want to add some non-iodized table salt to our box and be sure to evenly distribute it.
In this next step, we want to add the dried up squid to the salt. Now we want to make sure that the pieces do not overlap and do not touch each other. Just some sufficient distance between the two pieces should be fine. We go with the first piece, and we place it in the salt. You don't want to move the piece after placing it in the salt. Just proceed with the next piece. Now that I have placed the first layer of squid, I can tell that I still have more fishing bait to use. So I want to cover this squid with a layer of salt and then place this one on top. So we start by placing some salt, covering up the whole fishing bait. Now that I have covered my fishing bait with a layer of salt, I add the next fishing bait just right on top. Take it without any tissues and put it on top. And then we will need to add another layer of salt on top of the newly added fishing bait. And finally, we cover it with the last layer of salt until it's completely covered and buried in salt. Now that I'm done, I would simply close the box and store it in a cool, dry place for 24 hours. After that, we move on to the next step. Now that it has been about 24 hours, you can tell that the salt is a little wet and we will just need to remove the squid from the salt and then put a new layer of salt and put the squid back inside and this will be ready to be stored. As you can see, I'm now done removing the squid from the salt. The salt is quite wet. And now we place a new layer of salt. We remove this old salt. And then we add the squid again, exactly in the same manner. So a layer of salt, squid, and then a second layer of salt. And then this can be stored for future use. Now in this stage, when placing the squid on the new fresh salt, you don't have to worry very much about them overlapping, so slight overlapping should be fine because the squid is salted to begin with. So this is just for preservation. And we add the final layer of salt. With this, we are now ready to go. With this, we are done with the video for today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and visit our website, www.oceanics.com. Happy fishing and stay safe.